Welcome to another installment of the B dot life. Um, have you ever had this happen to you? <laughs> um, I had neither until I went to Iowa, <laughs> and on the way up, it pulled out. Fortunately, it opened the valve first. Um, now I was able to put shove the whole the um, metal pin back in the hole and get the valve closed fortunately and finish my tra travels in Iowa um, but now I've got a problem I can't pull the black valve open the flap the uh, the sliding valve won't actually pull open because the rod the second rod on the other end of this rod that actually is supposed to be attached to the sliding valve gate. Um, apparently the metal part pulled out of the plastic part and I've got no control. So we're going to fix that. <laughs> and it's probably not going to be fun because the first thing I got to do is force that thing open one way or another so that I can then replace the failed part, the, the, the actual um, uh, valve part. Uh, all right, let me, uh, let's work on that first. So this is what this looks like underneath here. Um, this pin would be the original handle that would move that uh, valve back and forth. And this is supposed to go this way, but just for display purposes, I'm gonna put it upside down. And uh, this is how this works, is that this pin goes in and out of that hole, and it allows it to operate that valve. Ah, now I can actually thread this out here. So this would be, there'd be a handle here on this threaded part, and then this is supposed to go in and out. Now it's supposed to stop about there and not pull out all the way. Um, this, uh, this is a whole sealed unit with the valve, and the problem of course is that I don't know what's in here, I don't know what's supposed to be holding that pin. Um, now, when we were up on Iowa, touring the Winnebago factory, on our way out, uh, we um, stopped off, fortunately, at the Winnebago Parts by Highway 9 and uh, bought the exact replacement part. Same thing, complete with the handle, and it actually does stop. It also moves a whole lot easier than mine. I imagine some of that's just age and wear. So, first thing I'm going to do is it's got these um, flanges bolted to the side of it. Um, I'm going to take off. This is this should be here's here's the crux of the problem, right? Um, this should be a simple um, unbolt the uh, failed part, um, unbolt the same flanges off of the uh, replacement part, and basically bolt the new valve in place. So no plumbing needed, just bolts problem. This happened while we were traveling, and there's stuff in the tank. The black tank is not empty, so yeah. I have to get that valve open before we try to replace that. Before I unbolt this one, I gotta get this open one way or another, by hook or by crook. Even if it destroys this unit, I gotta get that valve open so I can empty my tank. Um, and then flush it well before trying to do this. Okay, so let's unbolt this one and just to double check and inspect and and, and see um, uh, if there's anything it can tell us about how to get that the old one open. All right. Okay, so here's the replacement part, and we're just gonna. Unbolt this seven sixteenths. Am not even terribly tight? Right, 
So um, yeah, these are just, oh, it's got a nice little rubber seal here. Oh, okay, interesting. So the seal, the, the sealing against the valve. So this, this part just actuates the valve. It's not providing a seal except from the internal of the valve to the outside world right there. Um, but the actual seal is on this part. So this is a rubber seal that's pushing up against that sliding be able to see it if I do it this way. Yeah, so that runs along the edge of the gasket. Okay, so that's a pretty good design. Um, and let's see, does this pull out? Yes, it does. So I could put the new rubber seals on the old part since it's the same part since I got it from bagel parts for my model this should be an exact replacement so yeah bolt-on is going to be a snap but I still don't have any knowledge about how the pin interacts with this plate okay we're gonna have to use an inspection camera and go in and have a look um, and not on this part because I want the I want the new part to be um, undamaged on you know ready to, ready to go we're gonna have to explore under the van so I bought quite some time ago actually for inspecting the insides of guitars one of these lovely little $20 on Amazon uh, inspection cameras. It's a USB cable with a camera on the end with light and everything. It just plugs into your laptop and you run. Let's get the world right side up here. <laughs> and uh, and you can see stuff just by pointing the camera at it because it's such a small. So I can put this inspection camera right in that hole. Just very convenient that that fits. So I can put this inspection camera right in that hole. Just very convenient that that fits. And now I can see what's going on inside. Oh, look at that. There is there's the valve, and there's, oops, the only problem with these things is that trying to get them aligned is difficult. There is the problem. That plastic broke out. And it's just plastic. It's just a, it looks like an extra thick piece of plastic around where that uh, pin goes into there. Like that. So, okay. Um, it looks like if I find a drill bit that is long enough first, it's going to be that long. I don't think I have any drill bits I want. Um, but if I find something that's got a drill bitty end, or even just a really super long screw, you know, that would work. A, wood, a really long wood screw, and get it into that depression there in the middle, and screw it in, I should be able to bite it enough to be able to pull the valve out. And then I can do my dump <laughs> once it's open, and then I can leave it open, flush things flush it all nice and clean through and then go ahead and I'll bolt it and replace it. So this should be a snap as long as I can find um, a drill bit or preferably a screw, a very very long screw. I know I don't have a long screw on board but I happen to be parked 
where there is a hardware store across the street. So I may go shopping for a really long screw. Okay, so the one quarter twenty by five, which is this, is what I picked up. That should work because it's the same length and diameter as the original. I actually, have to match the thread on the other end. Um, so I was really wanting something with um, a pointy tip and uh, to be able to poke it in the plastic and make sure I could bite into it and, and uh, be able to pull the valve open. But because this is pretty much the same diameter as the um, original hole, I'm thinking it might work as is. If it doesn't work, I'll hacksaw a slot into the um, uh, the bolt and get it uh, get it so it's got something to chew into the plastic and hopefully be able to get a bite. Um, but maybe it'll work as is. So let's give it a try. So we're going to take our threaded rod and we're going to stick it in and feel around and turn on it and see if I can grab onto something. Oops. Let's see if I the camera in the process. Where the light? <laughs> Feels like I'm into something. Maybe. And, hey! Success! <laughs> uh oh, man, we have a little bit of drippage, but yeah, so what? Okay. So that's step one. We got the flat valve going. Uh, I mean, we got the valve pulled open, so yay, progress. Now I gotta run the uh, macerator and get this dumped out. Okay, after a successful dump with very little spillage out the side hole here, um, it's now time to unbolt this old one and replace it. And I'm uh, really hopeful that I got all of it out. Let me just uh, kick the macerator on for a second, one more time. Yeah, that sounds empty. Okay, so on bolt time. Let's get the wrench and go to work here. And so I'll put the new rubber seals on. And I'll use the new bolts too while I'm at it. Just cause. Oh, knock over the camera. <laughs> I guess if I went on the other side of the camera, it was, whoopsie. Apparently, I'm having a sweet case of dropsy today. Okay, and that comes off, and I'm going to clear out of the way, and minimal, well, I say minimal, and that's, oh man, what a mess. Yeah, good thing I postponed my shower until after I did this. Gosh darn it. Yeah! But it's out. <laughs> Okay. 
so old ring comes off new ring goes on old ring uh, comes off new ring goes on yes and then new valve goes in place and there's no way I'm doing this a second time if my camera screws up this time I'm going to be extra special here too bolt and two bolt I'm going to start putting some nuts on Okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Come on out. <sighs> so, we now have... I'm going to look at the camera. We now have a valve here. Oops, I don't want the light again. That actually works. Honestly, I could reach up under and hit that, but I probably should go ahead and connect it up the way it's supposed to be. Um, I may, however, leave that for another step on another trip. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I've hosed down the general area, and now, and now, I'm going to try to turn the handle, I'm hoping there's threads underneath here, to match the one that was installed originally. Since it's supposed to be the same part, it should be the same part. So I'm going to clamp down on this with the vice grips and turn. Uh, that looks very promising. Yay. getting anything. It's turning. I don't feel it coming off. Or am I just turning it in the vice grips? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just turning the rod and the vice grips. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, how are we supposed to get this off? No, I'm still turning in the vice grips. Well, okay. I guess until I, uh, I'm willing to attack that with a. Uh, different tool. That's just the way that's going to stay. And I need to do something with this in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Can I unbolt it? How do I take this out? If I just want to take it out. out. Ah, this knob unscrews. Here we go. Here we go. And someday that will finish turning out. Oh, I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing. So, I'm trying to turn this out so that I can take this out of the hole and not have it flopping around. How bloody long is this thread anyway? 
There we go. All right, that's out. There. Now, I have to reach in to get to my new valve, but you know what? Hey, that works. Thank you.